All right, so today we're going to learn how to finish the basic shape of the shoe. All right, so last time we cut out the sole and I had made the sides for you and we connected the sole and the sides, okay? We connected the top to make the body of the shoe. So what we're going to do today is kind of close in this bottom part here and we can also go ahead and put the tongue on, right? The tongue is the part of the, your shoe where you pull it up, okay? so. Whenever we use clay, we always wedge the clay, right? So we push, push, turn, push, push, turn, push, push, turn. I've already wedged this and checked it for air bubbles, so I know it's good to go. We're going to slip and score. Use a little bit of slip. Score the shoe anywhere we're going to attach things, right? We always use a little bit of clay glue so things will stick together. Okay, if your shoe's a little more dry, you can add a little bit more of the slip in the clay glue. Okay. And we're going to use a coil piece to start closing the shoe in. Remember, coils are just the snakes, so I kind of squeeze it out in my hands. I put my hands in the center and I'm pulling out. When I get to the end, I put it back towards the center, right? If you just roll it like this, it's not gonna get longer. You have to roll and pull at the same time. Then you get a nice long coil. It can be fairly thick, that's all right. We are going to, as always, add a little bit of slip and scratch up the coil, okay? And we're going to start by adding the coil around the edge of the shoe that we already have, right? We're just adding on a coil there, okay? The next time we add a coil, we're going to make it a little smaller. So I'll show you what I mean by a little bit smaller of a coil and that this coil is bigger than this coil, right? You can see around it, okay? So we add a slightly smaller coil Okay, and we're going to add an even smaller coil after that. Okay, we always get it to touch the bottom. We get it to come up a little bit, right? But as we go, we're closing in the shoe, okay? Once we've done a couple of coils, there'll be such a little space that needs to be filled, right? Such a small area here that we can take just a little bit of clay, press a mini slab, a tiny little slab in, and we can put that on the end, right? It looks a little clunky, but we're gonna go through and smooth it all together, right? Remember, we smooth the clay together, okay? That's gonna let us close in the shoe. And this might take a few minutes, guys, right? We're going to have to make sure everything sticks well. We've gotta make sure that we can keep the shape, right? Got to be a little gentle as we start to get it into its final shape, right? But that is how we kind of close in the shoe, right? If you want it to come down further, you can kind of press it down, okay? All right, we can just form it into the basic shoe, okay? Now that we have the basic shoe, Right? And if it's not perfect, that's okay. We'll let it dry a little bit and work on it some more. We still need to put the tongue in there, okay? So we will make a little slab. It doesn't have to be very big. The tongue's not very big. We have templates for you for the tongues, right? We'll use our needle tool. Just cut out the tongue shape, okay? And the tongue is gonna sit in here between the two sides and down into the shoe, right? So it kind of sits in there. To get it to stick, we're going to score the front where it's going to run into this part of the shoe. We're going to score that part of the shoe. We're going to open up the sides a little bit, right? Because the tongue is a separate piece. Okay. We're gonna slide that in there. Okay, now it's gonna be hard to reach in with your fingers. If you can, you can reach in and kind of push and smooth it together there. If you can't reach, use a tool and you can smush it together with the tool, okay? We can also smush it together in the front here a little bit, okay? So we can get that tongue on there really well. It's okay if it flops around a little bit. If it's too floppy, we can either attach it to the sides here, 
right? We can attach it if we want to. We could have it come back farther. We could even have it fold all the way down, right? Part of this is what you want to your shoe to look like. But this is how we finish the basic form of the shoe. From here, we're going to start adding laces. We're gonna carve in and start applying different texture and design. And you can make your shoe any way you want.